like we talked about, the talent is there, but he can get a little bit wild. He's a gunslinger, he takes some chances. It hasn't worked out for him too well in his Madden career, but right there it did. Remember, this is full mutt, so no cap restrictions, nothing like that. These are full Ultimate Team squads. So you're gonna see the best of the best out here for both players. What a oh. gap shoot from Trini. It was Cam Chancellor making a play. The ultimate turbo rush right up the A gap. And in this Tip Tuesday, man, I'm gonna be breaking down that clip, that user rush, that insane pressure you just saw. This is Drini's setup. I mean, someone may have flew it into him, but this is what I saw and what a lot of people saw is him running it first. And for the sake of them still being in the Madden Bowl, they're literally in play in like 15 minutes, guys. I'm not gonna post this like, oh, the night before, or like the day before they play. I'm gonna literally post this whether either when the Madden Bowl is over or you know while the Madden Bowl is still going on, like during you know the time they play. The finals are on Tuesday, Tip Tuesday always drops on Tuesday. So I just want to get that out the air, guys. I'm not trying to sabotage anyone. I mean, everyone is uh, who's been there has made it fair and square. Obviously, I'm gonna be rooting for Henry. Uh, Henry and Drini literally playing 15 minutes, but that's besides the point. A lot of my guys already know the setup, but this is just for you guys, uh, whether the casuals or the weekend league pros. Just in general, even just the pro players that might, may not know how to do this. Um, I kind of found a setup kind of reminiscent to that, but you know, Drini's setup is still super clean. Enough chatting, let's get into the video. All right, guys, here's the setup as you can see by this player. Take a screenshot or whatever you want to do right now. But um, I tried doing this in practice mode and it just wouldn't let me. I don't know if it's a thing for regs or the players aren't fast enough. Um, I believe obviously that you want your user to be as fast as it can. Um, whether it be 99 speed or 98 speed. I was using Cam Chancellor in this, but honestly, Eric Berry is probably one of the best slash Ronnie Lott. I feel like you want a shorter guy with very high agility so he can kind of maneuver through the A gap, B gap. And obviously them being shorter will help them out, not get them caught up on guards or people's bodies. If you do enjoy this video, obviously please leave a like. So guys, if you can look on the screen, basically what I do, obviously this is 335 wide, Mike Blitz three make sure you guys know that by now and um any playbook man i run giants you can run out of four six it really doesn't matter as long as you're in three three five wide and running mike blitz three and a lot of that's definitely the meta for the whole year is three three five wide a lot of you guys probably already run it but this uh user rush setup is really new and on the scene like once more shout out to Drini for it basically what i found such what i'm doing is um I'm crashing to the running back. So here's the original setup. You could press, you don't have to press. I like to press. Um, I spread my D line up. I crash him to the running back side, whether it's bunch or trips. I really haven't tried it against trips, but if it does work versus trips, I'll post like a YouTube short. So be on the lookout for that. But I like to crash to the running back side and notice where I'm standing. This is a specific spot you want to stand in. It's like three feet above the guard but a little close to the center as well, but not exactly on the DT. So you kind of just want to stand there and you're just going to want to loop inside to the other gap. I'll show you in a second. One key thing guys is um, you want to be holding this like specific angle. If you guys know how to shoot a gap, sometimes you know that you can hold this left stick to a, a certain degree and it's not going to take you immediately uh, and run you across the field. It's going to give you that kind of speed burst or that momentum you need to shoot a gap. So do that, like hold it down on a left angle and just swoop through the gap when they call high. If you go all the way down, they're gonna take you and make you run across the field. But if you hold it like this, you notice my Xbox Live isn't, well now it is. But if you hold it like that, like something like that, you notice it's not popping up. That means like nothing's really going on, but when the play is ca called, the high, uh, when they call high, you're gonna be able to just, you know, shoot down with a quickness. Give, slash, it'll be like a momentum boost. So here's the actual setup, man. You see, we stand in this spot. I'm holding this left stick down and I'm looping in every single time. It's a super clean setup. Mike Blitz 3, there it is. And here it is. It's just two plays in one clip. Pretty clean, if you ask me. The same thing again. We crash to the running back. We spread our D line. We press. We contain. And boom, we shoot the gap. I like to add secure tackler on my user. You could add strip specialist. I'm throwing it back to the beginning of the year, man. Let me know what abilities you're going to use. And you could also, if you really want to, you could practice a dive maneuver. The diving maneuver is really cheesy. You could get insta sacks. It takes some time, guys, but you could definitely get it down. Let me rewind this clip one more time. There you go. I'm 
holding this left stick down to the left and I'm swooping in as soon as he call high, calls high. I'm holding turbo as well once I get there. You're gonna get caught up, guys. It's not an every play thing. It's definitely a nice mix in, boys. But if you master it, then it's something you could spam over and over and over again. Um, to block it, just a lot of people block the tight end, but you know, that's what we want, man. If you're sending out only three routes in this game, you can mix in send two, send three, and that send two, send three is super, super cheesy. Guys, Make sure to practice this before running into a game and doing it. Um, let me know if you get the setup down. It's definitely a little difficult to maneuver uh, to get, but once you get it handled, once you get it figured out, you're gonna be able to get some nice user rush sacks. Um, and like I said, I don't know if this works versus a lot of formations. I just know for the most part, it's very effective versus bunch. And make sure guys to use this little left stick down, hold it, hold it, hold it. Then when they call hike, you're gonna get this kind of speed boost. You're gonna notice it. And as it goes, same for the right stick down. Um, you know, you hold it for a split second on the right. And you know, if you know what I'm talking about, you know, if not, just get in practice on and see what I'm talking about. And like I said before, man, it's gonna be difficult to, you know, do it at first, but once you get it down, it's gonna be super nice. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, sub, share, all that good stuff. See you in the next video. Next video is gonna be me using that new golden ticket RG3 and just, you know, running some mutt season games. Hopefully we get some nice content there. Till next time, boys, we're out, we're back. Much love to y'all, peace.